Except for to go to home so far, go on each and if only let's have a subscriber and a follower. It's a jadi, it's a bully. Lebafe, to Tando Guti. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know, I know, guys, it has been a while, a long while. Okay, God, okay, guys, we are back. I promise you that for sure, guys. Mamalani, man. If you are new here and it's your first time seeing this face, never heard of a damn diesel before, stick around, watch the entire video. You might be a subscriber now, nah, we're in the future. All right, guys, but if you are back, nah, thank you so much. I appreciate you and I love you so much. Today's video, like all other videos, it's going to be quite epic. We're going to be talking about how to get a distinction in life sciences. What qualifies me, damn diesel, to give you this advice? First of all, in my final results i got a 92 for life science little did you know Ugood, i've been getting a distinction in each and every term in that year because there's one thing or two that i know that is working let me share that advice with you stick around man you see it So as I've mentioned, we're going to be talking about life science, mastering that kind of subject. What I love about this subject is that unlike your maths and your science and your accounting, it doesn't have a lot of calculations, right? It's all about processing information. So I'm going to be trying to teach you that skill, clear video. But how do we process information in an effective way in life science in order for us to actually do really good? But before we start, if you have TikTok and you do not follow me on TikTok, bombastic side eye criminal offensive side eye number one give a feed what is important in life sciences is that you're not just studying here ne? you're studying number one to understand number two to remember so ask yourself that question every time you take a life science textbook do i understand what i'm doing how will i remember what i'm doing those are the two most important questions. You do this to by choosing an effective way that works for you to study. For example, there are people who are very visual. Those people, they like drawings, they like pictures, they like images, they like to see things. You know, sometimes they like mind maps to connect ideas. You have one, understand what type of a learner you are, then choose a study method that works appropriately. So you could be doing tables, you could be just taking notes, the mind maps, the flashcards. As long as it does these two things, helps you understand, right? And helps you remember. What is important in Kibofedu is you're not going to get it right every time, young child. But it's a matter of trial and error until you find something. I mean, this thing sticks. It's like throwing a lot of things on the wall to see what really sticks. And sticking with whatever sticks. And sometimes if you started early on, the better the chances of you getting better marks. But if you started later on, you still have a good chance of getting higher marks. But you just need to work a bit faster, young child. Yo, Kibofedu, another important thing. Guys, don't underestimate this. Go to your teacher. Now, I did this with my life science teacher. I was like, teacher, for the term, what topics are you going to cover? And in what order are you going to cover them? Then my teacher showed me, okay, I'm going to cover this and that and that. And in this order, what I do, I stay and study ahead. But it is the power of everything because it removes dependence from the teacher. Right? And it allows you to be independent with the information. While other students are still encountering it for the first time. When you're already maneuvering through the information, already packaging it. Oh, I understood it this way. Oh, no, it's actually this way. When the teacher teaches like, oh, the teacher like, oh, let's move fast, buffoon, let's move fast. You're like, okay, it's fine. I've already covered it anyway. The teacher's like, I'm not going to pull through to class on this particular day. You're not worried because it's your opportunity to study and stay ahead. Guys, it is an exciting game to play catch up with the teacher. Yeah, one oh, teacher is catching up to you when I'm moving ahead. Teacher is catching up. Teacher covered two topics and now she found me. Mara, I have to move faster. So it's kind of that game that really helps you to stay ahead. By the end of the term, you've already covered every other topic while everyone is still panicking when you're done. You are done. Imagine. Another thing you want to do, Buffett, you do not want to overload yourself with a lot of information from different textbooks. Find out what textbook your school is using. Or ask your teacher what the best textbook for life science is. Right? To understand these topics that you asked about. Right? Once you understand what textbook is the best, get that textbook. Shala, mediate on that textbook like a Bible. Yeah, you can't go wrong. Then what you do, once you get the information on lockdown in this textbook, supplement with what? Guess what? Yes, you got it right. A past paper. Ne? 
If you mediate on a textbook and a past paper, that is the formula to success. Guys, are you going in? There's nothing special about it. It's just a matter of doing these two things. Ne? Master the information from the textbook. Master the information from the past paper. Done. Remind me, Geba Fidu, in the comment section to ensure that I make a video on how to do a past paper. That is important. There is an etiquette. This thing is an art. Practicing past papers, you don't just jump on a past paper. It's an art. It's an etiquette. It's a skill. Now, I'm going to teach you that skill free of charge on my YouTube channel as long as you subscribe and you do the right thing. Man. Like a video, share that thing. Yeah, boy. Another thing that you want to do, Geba Fidu, ne? is that when you learn, don't learn just for yourself. But learn to teach. And if you can, the best way possible is to actually put yourself in a situation where you can actually teach someone. Because when you're learning to teach, you're asking yourself the question, how can I understand this not just for myself, but for someone else? It means that your mind is in the process of trying to break down the information so that even the person who has the least understanding of life science can grasp something. Once you are understanding Goloshobo, what tends to happen is that even when you read, you'll always ask yourself, Bati na belung? You know? Bati na belung? Then you're like, I think this is what they mean. If there's a word you don't understand, you quickly Google it and put the definition there. Oh, but I didn't remember this. And I'm going to use it somewhere in a sentence. And you keep breaking down words, even like simple words. But photo actually means light. Synthesis means to make. Considering a photosynthesis, it means that we are making something using light. You get me? That's how life science is. And for anyone who is interested in going further doing medicine, you'll realize that that is the bulk of medicine. Trying to understand clearly what words mean so that you can explain them better. To show how good this thing really goes very well together, this advice that I'm giving you right now. What I did when I was in high school, I started being ahead, right? So my teacher started getting ill, I think through the term, right? And she couldn't attend certain sessions. And she asked me, Ndolo, what topic are you on now? Because I had told her, I want to work ahead. And she was telling me which topics she's doing so that I can stay ahead. Right now, I think I was about two topics ahead. And I was told, okay, I've already covered this and that. Right? And we were going to cover a plant section. Right? Then she was like, I think it was phototropism or something like that. Then she was like, do you mind teaching that to the class? And I was like, actually, that's how I've been learning. So I really don't mind, you know? And after that, she was like, okay, teach the class. Then I taught the class, Buffett. At first, like, I think there were only, like, two people. Then when people started understanding, many more people joined until the whole class was there. And we're actually having a discussion about, Dam Dizu, oh, they were not calling me Dam Dizu back then, but okay, fine. Dam Dizu, what does that mean? What does this mean? Then we started talking, started talking, and people actually understood what the topic meant. And the more the questions came in, the more it forced me to actually understand it even better. So guys, don't be afraid. Don't be shy. Put yourself in positions where you can teach content, where you can work with people to increase their understanding. And you'll realize that even furthers your understanding in the topic itself. Are you see now, Buffet, I am plugging you for real now. Another thing that you want to do, man, when you take notes in class or when you're taking notes while writing it what from the textbook or whatever, you want to take reproducible notes. Not notes that are just going to be scattered everywhere. Whenever you need them on demand, they must be available, those notes. Yeah? It means that your record keeping must be immaculate, right? You must ensure that it is very standardized, nice. We ask, okay, this book specifically is for this. I literally had a book for definitions only, the life sciences, right? You have a book for this and you know where they are. So that one is so confusing. Yeah? This book I use to practice past papers so that you know, but when I want answers as a dealer from a past paper, I can find them in this book. So you put your record keeping your code very nice so that you can easily access your information. And can I just please warn you on something? Avoid la fatigue whenever you're studying that you're reading a, a textbook and you're taking notes on the side. You're realizing that the brain is no longer processing. It is just compelling. You know, like it's taking notes from this side and just putting them this side. You are literally just reproducing the textbook. Don't do that. Ne? Find a way where you can read the textbook, right? Understand what the textbook is saying. Say it out loud. But I think what they're trying to say is this and that and that and that, right? Am I remembering it correctly? Okay, this and that and that and that. Ne? If I were to explain it to someone, this is what I would say, right? Then take those basics you would use to explain to someone and that is what you're going to write on your notes and ensure that they cover all the important bits because not everything that is on the textbook is really that important but the skill is in identifying what is really important the key things in understanding this right the key words right a lot of things in life science will also realize that 
you can't really take out a lot of things for understanding's sake. It is a, it's there are keywords, guys, and you only understand these keywords by practicing past papers. But it has to include this specific because there's a mark for it. Now, I can't use a substitute. I just have to use this word, right? I get lastly give a fee to now. What you want to do for life sciences? Get your definitions, your laws, your rules, your theories in lockdown. What that means is that understand them to the core, ne? and memorize them to the core. That, that's where you would literally sit and you repeat word for word. No, 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 you sing it. I even used to like put the definition sometimes on the wall, right? And just get into my room, look at the wall, then some define this, then I'd close my eyes, try to define it, try to define it, try to... It's trying to solidify it in memory. Other people use flashcards, other people, you know, they make it a fun way with friends. Find a way to remember those definitions, those laws, those theories, those rules. What's important in remembering them is that how do you apply something you can't remember? It doesn't make sense, right? So whenever you come across a definition, especially if it's written properly in the textbook, a law or a theory, remember it. Now break it down into its simplest forms so that you can use it accurately. Thank you so much, Buffett, for sticking with me to the end of this video. Let us just confuse them there in the comment section. Tina Bando, who watched the entire video, and just comment there another one, Dam Diesel. Oh, Dam Diesel will know what to do. I will release another one. Young Tall. So, okay, Buffett, thank you so much. Please don't forget to like subscribe share join this family man katam so if you don't know me also check me out on tiktok i've released a bunch of videos giving advice to high school and university students otherwise my favorite until we meet again dango <laughs>